What we're going to do now, we're going to do a demonstration for you to help you understand the process of how clouds form. Now with me today, I have a bottle of water and it's a two liter filled with water about eh, halfway. Okay, right about there, that's about halfway, right? No, that's about right there. Now what we do is we're going to shake it up. We're just going to do some shaking, right? And the reason why we're shaking it is we're adding energy to the water. We're trying to get some water evaporation going on here, okay? This is a good way to work out. You know, you get, whoa, whoa, and you work out the biceps, you know, and you just want to get the triceps a little bit shaped. You can do both arms. You know, I don't need to. I lift weights. They're paper weights, but they're still weights, you know? All right, so shake that up. Get that real nice and going good. Now, after doing that, there is some energy in the water, and it is actually, before you can even see it, there's some evaporation going on. But before you can do anything with clouds, you have to understand that when it evaporates, it's going to turn back into liquid again, and it needs a surface to sit on. Now that surface is known as dirt, or smoke, or pollution, or whatever else is up there. Now scientifically, that sounds kind of simple. So we made up a word, just off the cuff, called condensation nuclei. Yep, that's on our spelling test. Condensation nuclei. Condensation nuclei is a really great word for dirt. Now, we need to create some condensation nuclei in here so that the water has a place somewhere to sit on. So, I've got it all shaken up. I'm going to provide that surface with a match. I'm going to drop this match into the water bottle. Well, the only reason I'm doing that is because the smoke is going to be up in the air and create tiny particles for it to sit on. The smoke itself is not the cloud, but it's just the condensation nucleus. So I've got it shaken up. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the lid here. I'm going to quickly drop in the match and then seal the top back up. So here we go. Okay. Message at home, do not play with matches. Ever. Okay, kids? Not a good idea. Now I'm not going to shake it anymore. I've got everything going here. There's some smoke going on in there right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add pressure to this bottle. Now the reason why I'm going to squeeze this and add pressure is because what I know about molecules is if I squeeze it, I give it less space to move. If it has less space to move, those air molecules are going to move faster. Did you know that when molecules move faster, that increases heat? So by providing less space for the water, you know what? Let me just tell you this another way. I'm squeezing it, it's going to make it hotter. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Here we go. All right. Now it's going pretty good. Now I'm going to change perspectives here and get you a little bit closer so that you can get a better idea. Okay, I'm just going to come a little bit closer. Don't be afraid. It's all right, buddy. I'm not going to, I'm not going to reach into your camera and get you. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, now look. Uh, as I squeeze this bottle right here, I'm going to create some pressure. Okay? I'm creating pressure. Here comes the pressure. All right, here's the pressure. Do you see it? See the cloud yet? No, because I haven't done anything yet. Now I'm just squeezing it. I'm increasing molecular motion, and in a moment here, I'm going to let go. And when I let go, the magic is going to happen. Are you ready? Here comes the magic. <gasps> See, that? See it? See the fog right there at the top? See it? Right up in here. Watch. Okay, so the way the clouds form is you've got some water, doesn't matter where it is, that water then evaporates. And as it rises, it eventually will cool. And as soon as it cools, temperature drops, right? You with me? The water has to condense. And so when it condenses, it's sitting on those tiny little particles called condensation nuclei. Tell your friends about it. They'll be impressed. And it sits up there. And there's still a warm, rising air that's creating an updraft, which leaves those little droplets up there. Now you get enough of those little droplets, you have yourself a cloud. All right? So when your friends ask you, so when your friends ask you, what is a cloud, you can say, well, there are tiny little droplets of water sitting on condensation nuclei. Um, you probably don't want to say it like that. That sounded a little bit uh, kind of nerdy. And the last thing we want to be is nerdy. Huh? That's just weird.